Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is BJ and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, I am going to explain you how we can set a custom template in SharePoint Online Document Library. So let me first open the SharePoint site. You can see here, this is a SharePoint site. And on this, I have a library which is known as Sales Document. And in this, if you will click on this new button, you can see various templates are available on this. For example, if you want to create a Word document, you can click on this Word document and you will be able to add a, uh, suppose I'll say test document. So you can see here, if I'll just close it, it will be auto saved. You can see here, now I'll just refresh one. You can see here a document got created. The same way, you can use any of the template to create documents. So these are basically a few templates which, can, which you can use. Microsoft allows us to create custom templates and upload it here so that anytime the user will come here and select that template and in that they will be able to create by using uh, documents by using that template. So for this particular example, let me show you how my template looks like. So I'll just open here. You can see I have an Excel file. So is this one where it has a few fields like company name, address, e email ID, phone number and contact person. So what I want here is every time a user will select this Excel document, by default these things will be available so that user can enter their values on this. So I want this document to be uploaded as a template. So I'll save this and then what I will do here is you can click on this new then you can see add in template plus add template and I'll select this template. You can see here I give the name as company sales template. I'll click on open. So once you click on open, you can see here upload it to this. And now if I'll click on this new button, you can see here I have a company sales template. The moment I will click on this, I can go here and I can enter values on this. You can see here I can enter values on that. And now you can see by default this uh, this is the document click on this and you can see this value is there so this is how you can add a template custom template in this sharepoint library now you will see here it is adding to the last so you can also change the order of it i will click on edit new menu and you can see here if you want if you, any options that you want to hide or uh, you know from this library or from this template list you can simply uncheck it. So if I just click on save, you can see here now the Excel document is not available. So edit new menu, you can see. And uh, if you want to change the order, you can see, you can do move off. You can see here, now this will be move up. It will come in the this position. Same way, you can also drag and change it. You can show, you can do like this. For your custom template, you can also, there are a few other options are there, you can edit. You can delete it also. If you do not want, then you can click on this delete option. So this is how you can work with the custom templates. I can save it. I will be able to see here company sales template is now in this position. So this is how we can set a custom template for a SharePoint online document library. If you want similar kind of videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get a lot of free videos on SharePoint Office 365 or platform and SPFX. Thank you and have a nice day.